Joint Philippines sent 1,700 troops against Chinese fishing vessels threat in South China Sea. Over the next two weeks, the Philippines armed forces will hold joint exercises with hundreds of U.S. soldiers amid growing tensions with Beijing in the South China Sea. Nearly 1,700 Filipino and American military personnel will take part in the joint exercises. Unlike in previous years, the Balakatan Exercises 2021 BK21, will not be open to the public as part of safety protocols to limit the spread of coronavirus. The exercises officially start tomorrow and will last for about two weeks. Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Cirilito Sobahana told reporters on Sunday. We will be conducting the exercises, but it will be different from previous years because of the pandemic. There will be a virtual portion of the exercise, he said. The opening ceremonies for BK-21 will be held at the AFP General Headquarters in Camp Aguinaldo, Quezon City on Monday, Sobahana said, adding that 700 American and 1,000 Filipino troops would take part. This year's resumption of the annual BK-21 event, which was called off last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, follows a phone call between the two countries' defense chiefs on Sunday to reaffirm their shared commitment to the U.S.-Philippines alliance. In a statement, Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said that U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin III and his Filipino counterpart Delphin Lorenzana discussed the situation in the South China Sea and the recent massing of People's Republic of China maritime militia vessels at Juan Felipe, Whitson, Reef. The Defense and Foreign Affairs Ministries in the Philippines have been up in arms for a fortnight over the presence of 220 fishing boats suspected to be manned by Chinese maritime militia at Whitson Reef, with statements flying back and forth over the alleged incursion into the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Secretary of Philippines Foreign Affairs Teddy Loxin JNR said last Wednesday he was firing off another diplomatic protest to China's embassy and would continue objecting every day until the last one's gone like it should be by now if it is really fishing. Even after such an intensifying row, China hasn't shown any sign of relocation of the vessels. Instead, they have accused the Philippines of using a 2016 International Tribunal ruling, which deprived China of certain outcrops of territorial generating status. The ruling from the Permanent Court of Arbitration effectively punches holes in China's all-encompassing, 9 dashed line that stretches deep into the South China Sea, as reported by the Sydney Morning Herald.